Good afternoon, uh, listeners, and uh, welcome to uh, today's uh, class. Today, we want to quickly look at um, some kind of a relationship that um, exists between uh, logarithms of numbers and the uh, indices. Uh, there are questions that are often given to us that require the in-depth knowledge of the connections between indices and logarithm of uh, numbers. So today, we just have two numbers to solve with you that will go a long way to explain to you this relationship or links between logarithms of numbers and their uh, indices. So I call up the questions on the board and then we solve together with you. The first question says, and I write, that is question number one. Say, given that, given that 10 raised to the power x equals 0 0.2 and log in base 10 of 2 is given as 0 0.310 find x. That is the question. The question says, given that 10 raised to the power x equals 0 0.2 and log 2 base 10 is given as 0 0.310 find x. So the first thing we are going to do is to see how we can transform this equation given to us in form of an indices to a logarithm to enable us factor in what we are given, which is log 2 base 10, which is value is given as this. Without us transforming this into logarithm, this equation here or expression here can never come in and therefore we can never solve the problem. So first of all, we transform these indices into logarithm by saying this way. So I have solution. The equation we have here is 10 raised to the power x equals 0 0.12. That is what I have. I now decide to multiply both sides of the equation with log base 10. Multiplying both sides of this equation with log base 10. And do remember that when a particular quantity is used to add at both sides of the equation, multiply both sides of the equation, the system of equation does not change. So what I have here becomes log in base 10. The number I have here is 10 raised to the power what x is equals. I have log in base what 10. The number I have here is 0 0.12. So what I have succeeded doing is using log of base 10 to multiply both sides of what of the equation. And there is a law in logarithm that says that when the log of a number is raised to a certain number, that power is used to multiply the entire log. I remember that law here. That law says that whenever we have log of what x raised to power n in base a, that the answer is, here is the power n multiplied by log of x in base a. That whenever a number is raised to power. That that power is used to multiply the words the log, and they remain the same thing. So applying that here, looking at this x as if it were 10, and looking at this n as if to say it were x, here is my a as if to say it were what 10. I will express this quantity like this. This x will now multiply this. I have x times log of what 10 in base 10 is given as log 
of 0 0.2 in the this time. Of course, we know that log of a number to its base is 1. Log of a base a, 1. Log of b base b, 1. Log of 10 base 10, 1. Log of anything to its base is what is 1. Therefore, this place I have log 10 base 10 equally becomes what 1. So what I have here becomes what? x times 1 equals log of what? 0 0.2 base 10. Of course, we know that when a number multiplies 1, it remains that number. So when x multiplies number, of course, it is x. And what I have becomes what? x equals what? Log of 0 0.2 base what? Base 10. Permit me to call it up here and then finish it up there. When we look at what we are giving, we are giving something in log of 2, base 10. And looking at what, what we have here, we don't have anything in 2. What we have is what is 0 0.2. So the next task is, how will we convert this 0 0.2 in order to have something that looks like what 2? Of course, we know that this 0 0.2 can be changed into what? Into fraction. And changing this 0 0.2 into fraction, what I'm going to have here is, here is my s, I have my s equals. Here is my log, log in base what 10. I am now going to convert 0 0.2 into fraction. And converting, converting 0 0.2 into fraction, I'll be able to have 2 over what 10. So what I have here becomes what? 2 all over what 10. The next thing which of course we know is that we are told that whenever we have log of what x all over what y base a, that the answer is log of x in base a minus log of y in base a. That whenever we have log of x over y base a, that it can be expressed as log of x base a minus log of y in base what a. So I'm going to apply the same principle here. Looking at these two as if to say it were x and this term as if to say it were what y. By invoking that log, this law, what I have here becomes like x is equals. Here becomes what? Log of what 2 in base what 10 minus. Here becomes what? Log of 10 in base what 10. That is expressing this the way I express this, I'll be able to have this. At this point in time, we can see that we have now log 2 base 10, and log 2 base 10 was given to us. And we earlier said, and it is true everywhere in mathematics, that log of a number to its own base is what is 1. So what is now left here is for me to substitute. I will now say, therefore, that my x is given as log of 2 base 10 is what? 0 0.310. Here is minus log of a number to its base is what is 1. So what I have here becomes 0 0.10 minus what? 1. I think the value should be somehow minus 0 0.6990, I guess. So that becomes our value. So whenever we are given something in form of indices, and we are given expression that is in logarithm, and we are told to evaluate that expression given for, to us in form of what indices. Every effort should be made to link the indices to the what to the logarithm. The moment both of us, both of them are connected, surely you can evaluate the problem, and that's exactly what we did here. By multiplying both sides with what? Log in base 10. And then solving this uh, problem. Thank you very much. I still want to believe that you now have a challenge. The way and the manner we provide a solution to this uh, problem. Please, when you do, feel free. And it, of course, it's a way of helping us or encouraging us. Drop your concern in the comment section. Surely we'll come to your aid the moment we come across that. Let us call up the second question on the board and equally solve it uh, with you. Thank you very much.
The second question says, and I write. That's the second question. That is question number two. Question number two says, solve. Log. Base of 1 over 16 raised to power 2m plus 3 base 2 equals log of 8 raised to power 5m plus 1 all over 3 base 2. That is how the question is. That we should solve this. There are various ways of approaching this particular problem. We are going to adopt one, but it does not mean that every other means which can be used to solve this are not legitimate or legit. So I'm going to adopt one. Adopting one is you do know that this one over 16 can be written as 16 raised to power minus 1. So as a word of solution, I'll have solution. I'll come here. Here becomes what? Log, which is what I have here. Base 2, which is what I have here. In place of 1 over 16, I'll write 16 raised to the power minus 1. Because they do the same thing. So I have 16 raised to the power minus 1. In place of this word, 16. And of course, you know, it is raised to the power what? 2m plus what three, close the bracket, this is equals. Then I, co I, I come over here. Here becomes what? Log of what? Eight raised to the power five what? M plus one, all over three in base what? In base two. Of course, this system can be expressed into two raised to power what? Four, because you know that a system equals two times two is four, times 2 is 8, times 2 is what 16. So this is equals to what 2 raised to the power what 4. So you can express 16 as 2 raised to the power 4. So in place of this 16, I am going to use 2 raised to the power 4 instead. So what I have here becomes that I have log in base 2. Here I have what 4 in place of this uh, 16. And that 4 is 2, sorry, I have what 2 raised to the power what 4. Here I have minus what 1, all by what 2m plus 3, close the bracket, this equals log, here is 8, 8 can be expressed as 2 raised to the power what 3, so I have what 2 raised to the power what 3, open the bracket 5 what m plus 1, all over what 3, in base what in base 2. Of course, this minus 1 affects this thing here. And when this minus 1 affect this 4 here, what I have becomes log of what? 2 raised to the power minus what? 4, open the bracket, 2 what? M plus 3, close the bracket. All in base 2, this equals log of what? 2 raised to the power 3 into what? 5 what? M plus 1 all over 3 in base what? 2. Here is my log of 2 base 2. Here is my log of 2 base 2 at both sides of the equation, so they can cancel. So this will cancel this. What I'm left will now be minus 4 into what 2 what m plus 3 is given as. Of course, I have 3 here and I have 3 here, and they can go. So when this and this is gone, what I have there becomes what? 5 what m plus 1. Then bringing this minus 4 into this bracket, we have that minus 4 times 2 is minus what 8 what m. Here is plus, here is minus. Minus times what plus? Minus. 4 times 3 will give you what? 12. This is equals, here is what? 5 what m plus what 1. What this means is you have minus what 8 m here. And you have plus 5m here. So this plus 5m can come over here to come and join this one. So coming over to come and join this one, what you are going to have is minus what 8m. When this positive 5 comes over here, minus 5 what m, this equals 
Here I have what? One. So I have here to do what? One. But then here I have what? Minus 12. So when that minus 12 is going over there, it becomes what? 13. So it becomes what? Plus 12. So you have what? Plus what? 12. What this means you are owing 8 and equally owing 5. So all together you are owing what? 13. So you have what? Minus what? 13 what? M equals what? 1 plus 2 is what? Is 13. Trying to obtain the value of m, it means dividing both sides of the equation with the quotient of what of m. So what you have is what all over minus 13, all over minus what 13. So a minus 13 can cancel minus 13, you are left with m. And here, 13 into itself is 1, 13 into e, uh, 13 is what 1. Here is my minus, minus, 1 divided by 1 is what 1. So m is equal to minus uh, 1. Thank you very much for your attention. That is how to prove a solution to that kind of uh, problem. We look forward to having you in our next class. Thank you very much and stay tuned.